what is up you guys it is Wednesday it's about two o'clock right now and I had to get out the house because I think that I just I'm just having one of those days so I need to get outside in the sunshine and I actually got me a little ice cream cup from Chick-fil-a but this morning I was gonna film a podcast because a podcast didn't come out last week because I've just been like in a little rut about the podcast. I don't know if you guys can hear me over the air, but I just been like a little rut in regards to the podcast because it's such a passion project of mine. And I'm such a perfectionist. And every time I sat down and recorded, I recorded like three episodes and none of them came out as I intended. So I think I might kind of switch up the format of the visual podcast and do like the intros and the outros as like me sitting down talking and then just kind of put the icon on the screen and then just have the podcast play in the background of that so I don't know if that will kind of pivot the way for me to have the podcast onto like Apple podcast and Google and Spotify or anything but right now I'm just kind of in a little bit of a rut I have a lot of anxiety kind of filming the visual podcast and I stumble over my words and I forget stuff so that is where we are right now so I had to get out the house but I've had a really productive day for it to be two o'clock I did devotion I didn't go to the gym today because I went Monday and usually I go Monday Wednesday Friday but I decided to skip it today because I thought that I was gonna film a podcast but I'm gonna go to the gym Thursday and Friday and I'll take you guys along for that because I think I might do like a week in my life even though it's Wednesday I'll vlog today Thursday Friday and then end it off on Saturday because I like vlogging a lot and I think that it's more therapeutic for me to vlog right now especially in this transition period that I am in right now so let me their ice cream looks a little funky I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like this funky dark color but mm. it's pretty good I also got a water but I thought that since I wasn't able to film a podcast today that I would just start vlogging because I vlogged it twice last week and then I uploaded those really quickly and they just made me super happy and a lot of people really really loved it so I was like I enjoy vlogging I'm just gonna continue to vlog so yeah I hope you all's Memorial Day and your week is going off to a great start yesterday was a really good and productive day I applied for jobs I went to the gym I made really healthy lunch and food me and Kendall went and got vegan burgers from our favorite place now and then we went to this thing called vibe night in my church for young adults and the conversation was about relationships whether they be platonic relational career relationships and God and that was a really good class so yeah and then one of his best friends moved into his house so now he has a roommate which I'm super excited about but tonight I was gonna go to a Bible study but since I'm having like a eh day I'm not gonna go today but I'm gonna hang out with them on Monday and then go to the Bible study on next week that was the plan for this evening but that's not the plan now but it's so nice outside it looks like it's about to storm just a little bit but I just need to get out the house and I feel really good since I got out the house um, I was editing and doing cover letters and writing samples and all that I need to do a few more but I'll probably go to the coffee shop sometime this week because I need to uh, edit a few videos and film some so yeah that is what we've been up to thought that I would just pull out my phone and start vlogging for today I hope you all having a stellar day my mood sure did perk up but yeah I'm gonna be vlogging a week in my life so hopefully it's a 10 out of 10 interesting weekend but even if it's chill it's still good it's more relatable so yeah I'm gonna finish eating my ice cream and listening to this podcast will kill you which is about like diseases and all that stuff so I'm gonna finish listening to that sit outside look at the clouds eat my ice cream and just chill out I'll catch you guys out later
right now you guys I did my skincare I showered I ate dinner and I want to show you guys something very very new so as you guys saw I went to the gym and today was leg cardio ab type of day so I did that but I showed you guys just a little bit of my workouts and me and my mom went together today because usually I go in the mornings but since I didn't go this morning I decided to go in the evening since she was already going but before we went to the gym I've been thinking for the past few months just really really thinking hard about it and I really want to make an investment for my YouTube channel but also I can use it for modeling and other stuff so we went to Best Buy and I got something new that I thought that I would do an unboxing with you guys. As you guys can see right here, I got the Canon M50. So I've used it once before, like within the store, just to test it out. But as you guys have seen on my channel, I've used the Canon T6i and then the Canon G7X Mark II. But a lot of my more frequent videos are with the Canon G7X Mark II and my iPhone XR, which I'm recording with right now. And then with the Canon G7X Mark II, we have this like photo and videography store here in Memphis. And I think they also have one in Nashville, but you can rent camera equipment and test it out. So that's what I've been doing a lot, uh, just testing and renting out the Canon G7X to film videos. So that's why I filmed uh, last week I filmed 13 videos, but now I don't have to because I finally made my big girl purchase and I got the Canon M50 and I thought that I would do a little bit of an unboxing with you guys since this is my first time like owning a camera like this because like I said, I use my phone for majority and then like the earlier videos I had a Sony Cybershot when I studied abroad. So this is my first like big big camera and I thought that I was going to make a separate video but since we're already vlogging I'm just going to incorporate it within this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said it's 8 o'clock so I have my ring light on and then the front facing camera is sometimes a little bit distorted but you get the whole grand scheme of things. But when I first got it like I said I got it for Best Buy when I first got it it's Soon as I got home I came and charged it up because I want to test out what the camera looks like with this ring light and also with it being dark outside but for the vlog tomorrow and the vlog Friday I'm just gonna be vlogging with my camera I am so excited you guys you have no idea so it came with this battery pack of course and it's the one that goes in the wall and it came with one battery I think that this will do for right now because a lot of my stuff I can just come home and film and I can just like charge and then just keep filming. But I think for right now, the one camera battery will work. When I start picking up traveling and stuff like that, I might need to invest in another camera battery. So this is the box, let's open her up. It came with the kit lens. It has like the built-in Wi-Fi and all that stuff. So basically the reason why I chose this one over the Canon G7X Mark II was because it had the interchangeable lens and I just thought that that would be more beneficial as I like learn more about videography and photography. This will be very, very easy for me to get new lenses, try out different like pancake lenses, wide angle, micro and all that stuff. And with the Canon G7X, I wouldn't have that ability to do that. Um, as well, I've heard a lot about people who own the Canon G7X. They have a lot of dust around the screen that you can't get off. You have the lens that you can clean and stuff. And I got the three year warranty on it. So if anything, happens I can take it and they'll fix it opening the box I have my receipt okay so this is the camera it came with a manual uh, two manuals actually I need to register it so I'll register it tomorrow because I'm going to a coffee shop tomorrow and I'm gonna play around and do some stuff so I'm gonna do this tomorrow so it came with Oh, nice. I was going to order a strap to match like the case that I saw on Amazon. So I might do that. But it came with this little strap, which will be very, very handy because we're going to be vlogging with it from now on. Then it also came with, like I said, the charging pack, a battery. And it also came with the kit lens. And I have a camera that's back here, you guys. I must try and see if it works this weekend. But I thrifted a Canon film camera. It's a Canon Rebel, I think from back here it says like Z or something. But it has a brand new Sigma lens. So whoever had it, they just put a brand new lens on it and had like the 
no scratches or anything on it so i'm gonna see if i can actually put it on this one because it has a really great zoom and a really good wide angle lens so i'm gonna try that out i was trying to see the lens type I don't know much about lenses. I don't know much about this stuff at all. Okay, so it's got the digital camera EOS M50 and then the zoom lens EFM15 45 millimeters, a neck strap, a battery charger, and a battery pack. That's everything that comes with it. And what I actually liked about it as well is that the, um, the sensor comes out. So I think that that would be very, very helpful because it's very hard to try to record on the phone sometimes. I am so excited. Oh, wow. Oh, I should, I don't know how to do this. Okay. Ooh, nice. Let me get a memory card and we're gonna play with this. Okay, so I have my little memory cards, this little plastic bag. I cleared some off. Hopefully this one is the one that I cleared off. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Fancy, fancy. I don't know how to do any of this stuff, but we are okay. But I'm just gonna, I feel like this is how it would work. Just kind of fits in there. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys. So this is what it looks like, but I'm actually gonna show you guys as well what it looks like when I record with this. But this is like the sensor, as you guys can tell. And then it has the screen and it flips all the way around. So if I wanna like vlog like this, and it's not too heavy that I can't like vlog and stuff, so I can vlog from right here. Um, I have a tripod as well, and then I have the tripod that the ring light is on, and I have another one too, so maybe I should record it. Let's see. Oh, wow. Ah, I like this. And so I can also flip it back and do it like manual, and then I can look through the lens as well. And then it has various different settings, which I'm going to play around with for tonight. But the zoom... It's crazy good on it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with recording it. Final goodbye to recording with the iPhone XR. Okay, so I need to play around with the settings and stuff on it, but look, you can see like my freckles and everything. Super excited. So I'm gonna put on the strap and stuff on it, but I do need to test it out and see like different settings. But I think that this is even a really good sensor and it still picks up on everything with it being like 812 right now and it's pitch black outside. I'm using a ring light. So it's pretty, pretty good still. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to test this out this weekend. But that is the unboxing and we shall see. I'm really excited. I just feel so at ease with this and I feel like I'm about to create some really good stuff. So thumbs up. I'm gonna play around with this for a bit and I will check you guys out probably tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. I'm still learning how to use the camera, but it's looking pretty good even though it's like gloomy outside right now. I just got ready. I'm wearing the exact same shirt I was yesterday, but I also put on, this is also new. So I also have my wide-legged pants on and my Nikes that are like this little cheetah print. It's about 10, 16 right now. And I did my devotional. I had a smoothie, I had a boiled egg, only the whites. And then um, I got a banana, I got my water, and then I'm about to go to a coffee shop because I need to edit, I need to study, and then I need to also respond to some emails and comments and all that. So it's very, very productive today. And it's gonna be a really good day. I'm so excited to learn more about this camera. But like I said, I was gonna vlog with it. So we are doing really, really good this morning. I'm actually really glad that I went to the gym last night because 
it just made waking up earlier just a lot more enjoyable today because I was like I get to go to the coffee shop really early and get a lot of stuff done before this evening so yeah I'm liking the camera I need to put some lipstick on but let's go to the coffee shop properly but it's about 109 right now and me and Jada just left the coffee shop but we had to leave because we saw a book but I got a video edited I got some emails done I responded to comments I did some other work stuff it's a modeling stuff I just got a lot of stuff done so now since we're kind of like in the East Memphis area we are going to go and get some food because I was like I really want some catfish she's like let's just go to Soulfish so we're gonna head on over to Soulfish and then get some food but it looks so dreary and dark outside so probably after this I'm gonna export the video and then rest because I'm hanging out with Kendall and his family tonight because his sister is moving her, his sister and her family are moving to Alabama but her and the baby came in last night so they're gonna stay in Memphis for a few days while her husband and the rest of the men in the family move their stuff into their new house and then they're gonna go to Alabama so I'd be well rested for that <laughs> it's a vlog <laughs> we're so fish that's awesome. I am back home. It is 3.01 and I got a lot of stuff done today. So since I'm back in, I need to finish like exporting and editing that. And I also think I'm going to re-sign up for Spotify because they recently sent me an email saying that I can get premium for three months for like $10. And if you're a student, like when I was a student, like not too long ago, we got Spotify for like $5.99. It came with Hulu, but I already have have all that so I would only just need Spotify so I think I'm gonna do the three months for premium and I also ordered some blue light glasses and I ordered a camera bag for this camera and then I have two phone cases coming in from Wildflower which I hope they come in by the time that I like finish editing this vlog and everything and finish vlogging because I really wanted to show that but if not since I have a camera, I'm gonna be vlogging a lot, lot more, which I'm super excited about. Because in my planner today, when we were at the coffee shop, sorry, the office is on in the background. But when we're in the coffee shop today, I did a lot of like organizing of like how many videos I wanna upload a week. So I think I'm gonna bump it up to three videos a week with it being Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and Thursday being the podcast day because I'm gonna film some podcast episodes tomorrow. And we have a big agenda for tomorrow as well. But today has been really, really productive for it to be only 3.02. And then while we were out as well, I guess I'll show you guys. But I put them in the refrigerator. So let me get those. So while me and Jada were out, I actually also went to Frost. And I got two cupcakes. And then I got Kendall and his dad a cupcake as well. But these are the two at all. They flipped over. But I got a red velvet and then an Oreo cupcake. And yeah, I'm going to probably eat the Oreo. My mom said she didn't want any, so I'll have this one for tomorrow. So, good thing we went to the gym yesterday. I'm going to do this little three month. Then I'm also going to do some more stuff on the YouTube. And yeah, I'm just going to chill out until I have to go and leave for this evening. I'm going to get geek. I'm going to get geek. I'm going to get get you, get you drunk. I'm going to get geek. I'ma get get you. I'ma get get you. Get you love drunk. I'ma get get. I'ma get get get. I'ma get get you. Get you drunk. I'ma get get. I'ma get get you. I'ma get get you. Get you love drunk. I'ma get get. I'ma get get get. I'ma get get you. Get you drunk. I'ma get get. I'ma get get get. I'ma get get you. Get you get you. I'ma get get. I'ma get get get. I'ma get get you. Get you drunk. I'ma get get. I'ma get get get. I'ma get get you. Gonna do it.
What is up you guys? It is Friday. It's about 11.08 right now, 11.09. And as you guys saw, um, I went to the gym and I had a really, really good morning workout. I did cardio and today was like all about arms because I never do arms. So I thought that I would do workouts that incorporated like arms, but I was actually doing stuff that also incorporated like abs and legs. So I'm feeling really, really strong right now. And then I came home. I showered I did my skincare I ate breakfast drank coffee I got a really really exciting email so I was just fangirling over that and then uh, preparing for stuff I started editing this vlog and I'm um, getting ready right now to actually go and have lunch with my mother at work because she works at the hospital and she's moving offices today so I thought that I would go and kind of help with that even though she said she doesn't need help but I love her co-worker so much so I'm actually gonna go and you know see everyone because they're always so sweet they always support my YouTube videos and all of my modeling stuff and I don't know just gonna pop in and say hey and then have lunch with my mom so actually on yesterday as you guys saw I got soul fish with Jada me and her had like a little day to hang out and do some stuff and so I didn't eat the other taco I actually brought it home so I am going to take that taco. I'm warming it up right now. So I'm gonna take it and bring it for lunch and just hang out and you know, see my mama. And I also have some errands that I need to run. I need to go to Target and I need to do a few other things. So I'm going to attempt to vlog in public. So that is the goal for today. I was going to actually film an episode of the podcast, but I'm procrastinating and I don't know if I'm actually going to have time to do that today because the podcast episode wouldn't come out to Thursday, but I just like doing stuff ahead of time. But I really want to have this vlog like majority of it edited so it can go up on Sunday and then I'm going to start a new vlog on tomorrow. So I want to make sure like everything is ready to go because I don't want future me to have to stress out about that. Just staying prepared, staying on top of stuff. Oh, and I need to like study as well, even though I'm not taking that test until like God knows when, I don't know when, but I just like to be really ahead of time or prepared because I'm not a great test taker. I'm, I'm a good test taker because I like to prepare ahead and I like to study and do all that stuff. But I know with like standardized tests, especially for like graduate school, law school and all that stuff, that's like a huge deal. So I need to, I'm preparing like super ahead of time in case I decide that I want to go back. I'll be way prepared and make a really good score to get into the schools that I really want to get into. So that is what that study has been doing. I haven't really talked about it openly. I'm, some friends and stuff know. My mom, of course, knows, but no one else knows. So now you guys know what my studying has entailed. I also have been studying Spanish because I took Italian basically all four years of my undergrad. Don't know a lick of Italian. I can read it pretty well, but it's still like classroom level. So I feel really bad for putting it on my resume. I just say like super standardized like classroom Italian because I can understand it if someone speaks it. I can read it pretty well. I can kind of write it not too well, but I just didn't have a really good experience studying Italian in college. So my last, like this past summer semester, I actually studied Spanish. So since I still have those textbooks, I have been just basically teaching myself Spanish. My teacher online was so wonderful. And um, yeah, so I've just been basically refreshing, reteaching myself Spanish. And then once I get Spanish down, I might go back to Italian because they have the same verbiage and the same way they structure sentences and pronunciation and they share a lot of words as well like the way it's kind of structured so I really want to be fluent in Spanish or my goal for this year was to have a basic conversation in Spanish that's the goal so by December I want to be able to carry just like a very very basic conversation and then once I like master Spanish and become somewhat fluent in it, then I will 
pick up Italian because I want to learn like I'm not very good at languages that's never been my forte in school I've always been good at like history English I love writing papers I love essays um I love science uh I love like history and all that stuff and business that's always been something that I've it's just hairspray that's always been something I've made like straight A's in but when it comes to like math I've, I'm not good at math. I know basic math, but I've never been super good at math. And then languages. I haven't been really good at languages either. It's just really hard for me to like grasp that side of my brain. But everything else I make like straight A's in, which I don't understand. My mom is really good at languages and math so i didn't get that gene i don't understand so um yeah that was my like post-grad goals was to learn a language on my own time because i feel like that's when i like retain it a lot better but when i actually stayed abroad as well i picked up basic check really really good because i was actually using it each and every day so my goal for like this lifetime well let's say my goal for the next few years is to be fluent in Spanish, be really good at Italian, and maybe pick up like a fourth language, either Japanese, which I know like Kompawa, Ohio, Dakimas, like very like five basic phrases. So I would love to be able to understand a lot more because Tokyo, Osaka, all those places are like my dream locations to like travel to. So I would love to like be able to know stuff when I go there. But I also want to learn Czech because I love Prague so much. I love the Czech culture so much. So I want to be able to converse when I get over there. And I pick it up really, really well because I just love the culture so much. So it's really easy for me to grasp that. So, I just told you guys, like, my life plan. I feel like this vlog is going to be really long. I did want it to be shorter, but as I was editing and I did the unboxing, it was, <laughs> it was pushing 17 minutes. So, for all of you who have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, I promise, today is going to be a really good day. That's about it. I'm going to throw on some earrings, throw on an outfit, and I will probably check you guys out later. sudden courage and the motivation to actually sit down and film my podcast episode which will be out probably after this video it usually comes out on Thursdays that's when it's set so I'm super excited about that once I left my mother's office and some of her co-workers were saying how proud they were of my podcast and how they listened to it with their daughters and how much of a positive role model I was to them and how they want me to sit down and talk with them. It just kind of pulled all of that anxiety and negative thoughts that I had for a second about the podcast because I think I was honestly just feeling really, really hard on myself and I was just being a perfectionist and I thought that what I was saying wasn't being articulated really well. So that was just calming my heart and just telling me that I was doing something really really good not only for myself but also for younger people that might be watching my videos um, as well as just for the betterment of the kingdom I like to think that everything that we should be doing each and every day should be serving God and putting our love and our light within everything that we do so I hope that that translates really well within my videos because I just do what I love to do and I hope that I inspire people as well so I just wanted to give you that pep of motivation because you never know who's watching your videos and what you're making a difference into other people's lives if that makes sense so yeah I'm just feeling really really good and it's 
304. It only took me like 30 minutes to do it. So I might actually edit that and have it all ready to set and go for next week. I went to Target. They didn't have my shirt in the size I needed. I got it in a small, but I needed an extra small because I like the way that it fit. It was a little baggy. So I think an extra small will look a lot better. But then I just got some like dish soap, paper towels, aluminum foil. I also got my mom a little thing to go into her birthday gift basket so I'm not going to show that but then I also got me some sunglasses which I can get and show you guys actually right now so hold on one second so I actually got myself two things because I forgot all about that other thing that I got so these are the glasses because I have some really cute glasses but they're starting to peel off on the side so I like these because they have like the little cat eye brim and I think they're just super cute and i want to show you guys the stuff that i ordered for amazon but i don't think it's going to be in this vlog it might be in the next one and then i also got these funky pants look how cute these are and the guy only charged me five dollars for them because they didn't have a tag on them he was like how much do you think these pants are worth and i said maybe like five or ten dollars he was like let's do five and i was like thank you they're in a size extra small and they're a new day so I honestly think that they're super cute. I can wear like a really pretty white blouse with them, but they have the billowy bottoms. You guys know I love that. So yeah, I have a few hauls that are actually coming up on my channel because I ordered some summer stuff from Shein, but then I have some other random stuff as well. So look out for those. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that. So that is what I have been up to you guys. It's been a really good and really productive day to edit real quick before my mom comes because she gets off at 4 30 so i have about an hour and 45 minutes to get everything done because we're trying out a new restaurant tonight so every friday me and my mom do date day so we're going to a new place tonight and i'm gonna take you guys along with me And it came with the shrimp, and then we both got like a salad. Ooh, that's more napkin, that's more yeah, rice. Oh, right here. Right, right, right. Oh, it's oh, it's right. Right. about 7 23 right now and we just got back in from going to that ethiopian restaurant it was literally so good it was a hole in a wall but the food was so so good this was our very first time going to an ethiopian restaurant and eating african food in general at least for me it was and it was so freaking good so before i end the vlog i actually got my blue light glasses in which i was talking about earlier i ordered them yesterday but since these came i wanted to show you guys and i guess i'll just update you all maybe in another vlog or so about how well they actually work but i've been recently getting headaches from using my computer and using my phone a lot which i've never had so i had to order some blue light because i know that those are really good for if you use the computer and all that stuff all the time so i just ordered these off of amazon and the packaging already is really really cute i think they were 20 dollars, and i got two pair of them and it came with like anti-blu-ray thing and a little cloth pad something to fix it and then i guess the blue light inspector so this is the first pair like they the packaging is really good on them too so i just got like a black frame <laughs> oh gosh like a black frame i can tell that there's like a little rose tint on it nice they don't have like the flare i didn't get those so it, there'll be like a little glare and a flare on them. <laughs> I look so weird in glasses. And then these were the second pair that I got. They were just cheetah print. Just these really cute cheetah print lenses. So yeah. But I am going to end the vlog off right here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me for this weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you do all that fun stuff. Like, give it a big old like. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And I will check you guys out in my next weekend. And have a wonderful weekend in general. Bye, you guys.